Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another PSVR 2 Let's Play. I'm Miles Dyer and today we are checking out System Critical 2. I thought I'd dress for the occasion. <laughs> I was thinking about wearing something a bit retro even before coming on, but I was like, nah, I've just done some uh, working out in VR on this. So while it's, you know, a bit worn, to put it politely, uh, I may as well stick with this because I think there's going to be a lot of motion in this as well. Um, I want to say a massive hello to everyone in the chat. I'm doing something a bit different today where I haven't got the in-ears live chat turned on just yet, but I will once I get going. Because whenever I do my intros and outros with my final thoughts, I always stumble over my words. In part because I'm thinking, but also because I have the robot reading to me in my ears as it's going along. So I will unmute you all, but I just want to say a massive hello to the live chat right now. I hope you're doing good. And also I want to say a massive thank you to Old Formulas who gave me the key for this game. Uh, so I'm just jumping in now. And uh, they are in the chat right now. So if you're tuning in live, this is one of the bonuses of checking out these Let's Plays lives. Is sometimes you'll get a little greeting from the devs. Now this seems proper retro. Um, so I'm going to go start. Continue. A bit premature for that. I've actually never got into this game before, so starting from scratch. A technology had seamlessly integrated with human existence. A powerful alliance of machines and flesh emerged. One unique creation, known as Cyborg 17, stood as the pinnacle of this harmonious fusion. Part human, part machine, Cyborg 17 possessed unparalleled strength, intellect, part and an human, unbreakable determination to protect the planet Earth name? from any threat Cyborg that dared 17. to jeopardize its safety. Love it. Good with branding. circuits humming and a heart that beats with the memory of its human origins, Cyborg 17 must embark on a mission to protect Mother Earth from the Evil Eye organization. As battles wage amidst starlit backdrops, within the shadowy recesses of space stations harboring dark secrets, the tension between Cyborg 17's technological prowess and its lingering human emotions paints a complex portrait of a defender torn between duty and identity. As the clash with the Evil Eye organization escalates, Cyborg 17's journey becomes a cosmic ballet of strategy, loyalty, and self-discovery, its ultimate fate intertwined with the destiny of both Earth and this the totally galaxies it traverses. This totally AI-generated <laughs> imagery. The, the voice is legit, but uh, the images. As someone who may or may have not used AI... Hello 17, <laughs> welcome to training. Nice. Grab your blaster or pistol oh, and like let's get ready to start. Hands. To equip the pistol or blaster, reach down and press the R1 or L1 button to grab them out of your holster. Right, I'm going to put the, the chat on the pistol or blaster, tutorial. simply press the so R2 or L2 stuff. trigger button. To put them back in your holster, simply hover your blaster or pistol over the holster and press the R1 or L1 button. To move, use the left stick. To turn, use the right stick. Yeah. Awesome. Behind the door, there will be some enemies to kill. I want smooth Blast turning. open the door to proceed. Oh, this is awesome. I like this. How does it uh, look in the headset? It looks right. Just, uh... Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I don't... Right. I guess the options are going to be after. So I want to turn click turning off. Oh, that's cool. Good shooting 17. You handled those enemies like a boss. Like now a boss. around the corner, there will be some health and armor packs that you can pick up no, with no, L1 no, no. or R1 and release the button to use. The green bar on your wrist represents your health and the blue bar Shoot. represents your armor. armor. Behind the next door you will find a couple melee weapons that you can use on enemies that get too close. These weapons are typically a one-hit kill unless it is a more powerful enemy, then a few hits may be needed. There are two enemies around the corner and down the hall and they have their backs turned so they cannot see you coming. Nice job, 17. Around the next corner is grenade training. Simply okay. pick up the grenade I, uh... with L1 or R1 and press L2 or R2 to activate the grenade. Once activated, you will hear three beats yeah, and see the grenade flash three times before it explodes. Mm. Make sure to touch it before the third beat will almost get to your hand. 
To toss the grenade, you will have to throw it with your arm and time it just right and release the L1 or R1 button at the very end of your throw. Behind the next door is shield training. To use the shield, pick it up with L1 or R1 and press L2 or R2 to activate it. To deactivate the shield, press L2 or R2 a second time if you want to turn it off and save its power. Also, if you ever have to set the shield down to grab other items, welcome to my favorite part. Parkour training. You must make it across all the plat- Nice jump hit. This next jump is a little bit farther. You will- To jump across platforms that have a huge distance between them, you will need to perform a running double jump. Jump, double jump. Get a running start by pressing in the left stick button L3 to activate sprint mode. Run towards the ledge and press the X button to jump. Press the X button a second time in midair to perform a double jump. This is going to really annoy me. <laughs> no! You can't clamor up. There we go. Amazing jump. Now you must make it across the moving platforms to the checkpoint up ahead. You can do this, 17. I have faith in you. Thank you for having faith in me. I don't want to mess this up now, or I will end the stream. <laughs> that is how I feel. Right. Good job, 17. You made it to the checkpoint. Each level will have multiple checkpoints. You will respawn at switch your blaster type by pressing the circle button. You will unlock different blasters throughout the game by completing levels. But to start you will only have your behind the door are some more enemies. Now it's time to practice your charge blast. Your regular blaster is really the good. only blaster that has a charge blast. Awesome shooting. To sprint, press in the left stick button L3 to activate sprint mode. Run to the end of this long hallway for practice. Nice running 17. You are really fast. If you would like to switch between snap turning and smooth turning, press in the right stick. Be on the lookout for hidden items and weapons in every level, including ammo for some of the different types of blasters you may unlock. Well done 17. Approach the spaceship to leave training. Cool. All right, people, I am just going to turn on the chat. Hey, everyone, I can hear you all now. Are you doing good? Right, I'm just going to go in and have a, see if I can find the options. This is cool. Right, main menu, unlockable, level select. Game, isn't it? Maybe, maybe. I can hear the live chat now, people. Devs, is there is there options in this for um, turning off click turning to smooth turning? Right, let's do level select. Turn it down a little bit. There we go. Let me know how that is. Cool environment. Love, love the sky boxes. Super cool. Oh, there we go. Awesome. So yeah, you just press R three, and it allows smooth turning. Excellent.
no, you can survive down here, that's good. Apologies if the sound levels weren't great. See, I thought it was working good for me not having the chat in my ears, but I forget that you're my producers. So hopefully uh, you can hear me in the tutorial. Hit the like button if you like the dancing, and if you didn't like it, hit the like button anyway. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm in a classic Mega Drive game. That was terrible. No one saw that.
Oh no! <sighs> Gotta do it again. Right, I'm just gonna run through these. I can't be bothered. There's a bleed blaster. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. I like that. No charge on this though. Sounds awesome. pull this machine out the wall. <laughs> Alright, that's it for the Let's Play. I'm joking. Oh, where am I now? Wait. I'm back here. Wait, did I lose? Did I run out of lives and now I'm right at the back of the map? No, I'm going backwards now. points for getting killed, right? So I just need to run through all this. Miles the falling, man. to look at where it overlaps. No, it literally hits against it, okay. Come on. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, This music is incredibly repetitive. I try not to think about it too much. <laughs> I mean, I like the style of it. I love Red Bull. But when it's... There we go. It's changed a bit now.
Oi. System critical. Keeps, do I need to reset my positioning? I don't know. It keeps making me look the other way. Yeah, that was why I was running backwards. It just had me spawned facing the wrong way. I did have my uh, thing reset. I mean, this game's got a decent resolution. I like the art style. Definitely nailed the retro feel. Bit of aliasing and shimmering in places. that a boss? That was a boss.
No! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! I'd kick myself in the head, but it won't let me. Right. Gotta climb those annoying stairs again, facing the right way this time. I love this. It has the toughness of classic arcade, but the fact you're in it is quite something. the next one, onto the next one. Ancient civilization. Here we go. If it's the same song. I know it's not going to be the same song. Well, this is quite different. I like this. I am the Mega Man. I am the Walrus. Hey, hey! Cut it out! They made me come up there. The movement in this is awesome too, once you get the hang of it. Ah, damn. 
and click to turn it. I bop you on the head. No worries, Jelly. There is the robot in my ear, cool to gel. Oh no! I'm dead! Without dying once. But I'm not interested. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh. Interesting. I like this. I like this. Going backwards, am I? You keep saying lol, laughing at me. It's your game that keeps making me face the wrong way around. There's a shopping bag. Interesting, that's not one of the ones I listed. I'm going back because this is better. Oh, man. No wonder I can get out there. They need to have what they had in retro games, you know, like at the end of a section, like the trees are arranged this way. Anyway, I wanted to go back there and kill those enemies anyway, they were annoying me. That's why I went back there.
There is smooth turning. You just have to turn it on every time you die, which is really annoying. You have to press R3 to turn it on. See, this is smooth turning. I wish it was a bit quicker. These textures are nice. I like these. and then let go of it when I need it. It. Don't tell me what to do. I'm Mega Man. Someone uh, time stamp that bit. So I definitely uh, want to use that in my highlights. Oh, I need this. Too much shooting. I'm doing not enough shooting. Here it comes. Oh, got click turning on. Maybe click turning doesn't turn off when you die. It's just uh, I'm pressing R3 by mistake a lot. Armor compromised. 
I'm a compromise. Well, no worries. Checkpoint. Oh, this looks great. Yeah, the music is cool, but it is on the repetitive side. And I, I'm someone who listens to Spotify playlists of classic Mega Drive games, like Streets of Rage and stuff. This is awesome. I like this a lot. Right, bring on the boss. Show yourself. The eclipse. Oh yeah, the eclipse. I want I assume if I kill the ads, they're just gonna keep coming back. So maybe I'll. Maybe not. Oh no. Grab your blaster how do I get out? And let's get ready to start. No, no, no. Equip the pistol or how, blaster. How do I get out? Reach down and press the R1 or L1 button to grab them out of your holster. No. To shoot the pistol or blaster, how do I get press out? the R2 or L2 trigger button. To put them back in your holster, no. simply hover your blaster or pistol over the Right, holster how do I get out? Do I literally have to quit the game? To move, use the left stick. To turn, use the right stick. Let's see how quickly we can do it. Oh, you know what? Actually, if I die, do I die? Oh, no, I'm not dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Headset. Hello, 17. Welcome to training. Grab your blaster or pistol and let's get ready to. It's alright. I've just restarted the game. All good. Right. Let's use my new weapon, the grenade launcher. If you press new game, does it just wipe your save? Like instantly. Pretty scary. Right, what shapes do we want now? No, it's all good. So one of the things I like doing with these Let's Plays is I love giving real-time feedback to the devs because I've played almost every single PSVR 2 game. I've got about, I think, eight more to do. And then I've caught up. So, you know, I've got a pretty good experience of what works and what doesn't. And obviously, I'm just one opinion. But, yeah. but I, li I like what you made here. I genuinely wasn't sure what to expect. And... Right, I'm just learning to run through this a lot more now. But you see, I think it could... Yeah, time trial mode would be awesome. The leaderboard would be incredible. I 
like a lot of these games, it feels better than the faster you're going. Bye bye. I love the shininess. These, these surfaces look incredible. Love it. Yeah, these vistas are nice. Oh, I was dropping. It was, it was just a shadow. Critical. Let's find the checkpoint. Oh. It looks good in the headset. There's a bit of aliasing and shimmering in places. But like everything up close looks really good. You know me, I'm just like, I wish everything had dynamic foliated rendering. Oh, I love it that when you're dying, you can still kill him. Like, I'll take you with me. No. Nope. Right. At least I've got full health again now, so I can just... Because I was, I was at system pretty cool when I was at that last checkpoint. These, these surfaces, these glossy, metallic. I wish the haptics for the charge was better, so you could like get a greater sense of when it's fully charged up. Because the feeling doesn't... Uh, I guess there's a little bit of feeling. levels just like different levels that are always do they actually go up in difficulty or different ones you know Would you be able to tell me what the hardest level is after I complete this one? I thought there were like secret areas or like extra challenges. Multiplayer as well. Oh man, this would be sick multiplayer. You say the last level, but there wasn't any order. Oh, I'm at the boss already. Wow. What's this? I, I'm assuming this is a grenade. Oh, okay, this is an awesome looking box. But, if I just keep strafing, you die and there's nothing you can do about it. That is the only criticism I've got so far, is these bosses have been absolutely pissed. So I just do this. Until they die. Oh, 
Ah, oh, level 9 unlocked. Right, there you serves me right. Yeah. I wonder what this is. Oh, I didn't even um, try out the new grenade launcher. I need to do that. Oh, Super Earth. I substation. Super Earth. Love it. That's fair enough. I respect that with the bosses. You could have said they are really hard, and I'm just mega man. Right. Oh. Is it reload? Take a while to reload. Lolling at me, you're very mean. speed up mid in the air you can press L3 to speed yourself up a bit I can't believe it System critical. I love that I got as far as I did last time despite going much slower it'd be boring if I completely without dying Wow. I need to play aggressive again. Play worse. Alright, let's go. Definitely a lot. 
fine but right is it in run mode and then when you press l3 it... i thought you always start as war you don't okay that's good to know that's the mistake i've been making i've already been in sprint and i press l3 and it makes me walk i thought it was that you always walk and you have to Imagine if these like fell down. A checkpoint would be really nice right now. my stomach. I don't know what that was. Thank you, I love the positivity. You can do it, Mega Man. Mega Miles Man. Yeah, that doesn't look doesn't look safe. I hate these ones. Oh, but it's the 
good gun. Sorry, now I understand. Thank you. That would make sense. Vibes with the uh, with the eyes. Agreed. They're watching us. The movement in this game is great. It really is. Made the music yourself. Awesome. Good going, because this is awesome. Thank you. 
to get up there. I'm so nervous. checkpoint should give you full health and shield just because when you die that's going to happen anyway oh wow You didn't. Oh, I've, I've accidentally clicked the switch turning plenty of times playing this. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's just the perfect, just, oh, one more go, just one more go. System critical. That that che that checkpoint should just give you full health. I guess the whole point is like if you're carrying an item like I am now, you want the player to lose it if they die. Let's go. Right, which way am I going? This way. Yeah, that went back to click turning. So I think it does go back to click turning every time you die. Yeah, the B99 thing I, I totally agree with. They definitely share similar feelings in speed. Two enemies here. So I'm gonna go for this one. I hate these enemies though. Yeah, turning while move with using the stick is a bit tricky. Click turning's actually pretty good. Hey, I'm over here. load this up just to try out the weapon and then I'm going to wrap up and give my point to you. So what have we got? this level. You see how I... Oh, that's a cool looking enemy. Good cloak. Armor compromised. Yeah, good. Okay. Alright, people. Okay, everyone. That I've just muted the chat while I just give my final thoughts. That was a let's play of System Critical 2 on PSVR 2. I want to say a massive thank you to the devs for not just providing me with a game key, but for joining us in the chat, answering everyone's questions. And I hope for you it's been cool to see someone play it in real time and giving feedback um, as they've gone along. 
what are my final thoughts? Firstly, graphics. I love the retro style, uh, the vistas, the environments around. They have, you know, clouds and things, which, as you can see right now, which look epic. And I think the resolution up close, um, everything is buttery smooth uh, in frame rate, and it looks great. There is cases of aliasing and, and shimmering from time to time, and it's often hard to gauge when you're obviously dealing with low resolution textures because it's a retro game, which I think totally works. There are some areas or some moments I'm just always like, I wish the resolution was just a bit crisper. But when you get these metallic objects, like the, um, the platforms I was going on, or as you can see here, this looks really, really good in the headset. So I think, you know, getting to live in a retro game, this, uh, they totally nail it. Audio. Um, for the audio, the sound effects of the weapons is, are great. Charging up different weapons, the enemies, intimidating in a retro way. The music I do like, but there are moments where I just wish it went onto the next bar or next section of the song because it gets just a little too repetitive. But for the most part, that hasn't been a problem. I think it was just on the first level we were on. Um, but yeah, um, I think the music captures the vibe very, very well. Haptics. I'm gonna say, I was very surprised by the haptics because there's a lot of modern games or modern looking games we play on PSVR 2 where just the haptics aren't there or when they are there, they're very basic and don't do a lot. The haptics are really, really good here. There are a few areas where I wish the haptics were a bit better in indicating, like charging up a weapon. Um, I think that that could be taken into consideration. But yeah, the haptics of using the weapons feel great. Um, and when you're having to keep clicking the shoot button, I do kind of wish there was fully auto where you could just hold it down because um, my finger is definitely caning uh, after playing that. Um, so that would be a cool like accessibility setting to have. Um, I think with games like Transformers VR and that where you end up going into the settings and switching that with the X button uh, just to make it easier. Um, but yeah, adaptive triggers would definitely make your fingers cane even more if they had that. Um, which they don't, just to be clear. Um, and then finally, gameplay. The question I always answer, did I have fun? And the answer is a massive resounding yes. This was really good fun. As you get the hang of it with the um, uh, movement, I love games that are fast moving. I, I always you know, play like this, usually in games that you're not supposed to play like this in. I just love the speed. I do wish there were options though, so you could change the turn speed so that you could you know, decide on your movement speed. Although I think at this setting it's fine. I'd be curious to know if some people maybe feel it goes a bit too fast. Um, at first, I thought that you always had to press L3 to start running, but it's not. Run is on and run is off because there were times where I was about to run across a platform and I went too slow and it's because it was already in run mode and when I pressed L3 to start running, it made me go slow, if that makes sense. So I do wish that when you go from run to slow down, there was some kind of visual indicator on the screen, maybe in the corner, letting you know that you're starting to run, or I don't know, just some kind of indicator. It could be an animation or something. And yeah, click turning, you know, with the boss was the only time that I wanted to turn to click turning mid game. But I think that's a bit of a cheesy way of defeating the bosses. Um, I do wish that click turning, smooth turning was something in an options setting uh, and not something that was done in game. Finally, in terms of like the enemies and that, um, I like the different environments. Um, I just like that you know what you're getting into. This feels like playing a retro game. I think the bosses are great in how they look and how they act, but way too easy. I mean, I didn't die against any of them. I think there was one I died on after killing it or almost died on falling down a hole. Um, just because the way you beat the bosses, so far at least, is you just keep circling around them, strafing and uh, their line of fire is never going to catch up with you. Um, but that might not be an issue for many people, but that was just something I was thinking about. And hey, what am I like, you know, complaining that something isn't hard enough? Um, and also, I'm really, really glad that looking at the trophies, um, there's a platinum trophy. 
and I think it is just for up unlocking everything. Just having a look. Yeah, it seems for battling everything, which is great. It feels like a, just a really great retro game. So, look, I'm not going to lie. When uh, heading into this game, I thought it should be interesting. be interesting to see what it is. Um, but I didn't really have high expectations. Uh, this pleasantly surprised me. And, you know, I'm someone who occasionally likes to go on the PlayStation Store, look at discounted games, and, you know, just get a few flat screen retro games. You know, you have a PS5 at the end of the day to play more modern looking games. But the fact we get to live in a VR, or, you know, via VR, get to go into uh, a game like this, uh, I think is really, really great. But. I've completed four levels, I still haven't gone through all the way through the game and looking at the main menu, it's just, there's a lot of things where I wish there was better signposting, you know, when I was sort of trying to work out where you get ammo for for this um, and on the main menu, like knowing which level to start with first, you, you kind of work it out and again, I think it goes to that retro style of gaming, so for that, you know, they completely nail it. So. With all that, uh, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone for tuning in. Uh, do hit the like button if you haven't already, and do subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all future Let's Plays, because I'm on a mission to Let's Play every single PSVR 2 game out there, and it's only possible if I'm joined by this wonderful community. It's always good fun doing it. Uh, also, um, I have a new merch store. Um, do check it out. Um, it's questforempathy.com. And I still have a couple of discount codes left. So if you use Quest Launch at checkout, all one word, Quest Launch, you get 10% off your order. So definitely check that out. And finally, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Moles Dyer. I've just set up, or should I say, dusted off my Twitch account. And sometimes beyond these Let's Plays on my YouTube channel, I do some extended plays. So perhaps um, I'll continue playing this on Twitch, so um, head on over there if you've got an account, um, and I might see you on there sometime soon. But that is all from me. A massive thank you to everyone who has been tuning in. There is one super chat which I just want to read out. Ah, oh, Nihilus Ryan, the game feline. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You're always so, so kind. Let me just find the applause sound effect that you deserve <laughs> with the five dollar. Uh, saying thanks for streaming this one miles as indie as it is i like this one a lot yeah i'm having a good time with this as well so that's it thank you very, very much everyone and i almost just blew myself up then <laughs> have a good one and i'll catch you on the next one Bye bye